a quiet spot on the side of a hill, Jimmy and his family had a picnic one Sunday afternoon. There was soft grass and big trees. Not far away was a river. It was a good place for a picnic. Jimmy had brought a new book to read after lunch. The book was called Lands and Waters. What do you know about the lands on our world? What do you know about the waters? The book said, on our big round world, there are lands and there are waters. The book was about the different kinds of lands and waters that are on our earth. Jimmy's mother said he could see different kinds of lands and waters from the top of the hill. So wouldn't that be a good place to read the book? Father said he would go with Jimmy. Mother said she would stay with Jimmy's sister. So off Jimmy went with father to learn about the surface of our earth from the top of the hill. Up and up they climbed. Higher and higher. Now they were high above mother and sister. But they had to go higher. Finally, they reached the top of the hill. They could see for many miles around. Below them was the river. Beyond it were hills. Away in the distance were mountains. Although they could see many miles, they were seeing only a small part of the Earth's surface. If they were in an airplane or a rocket and could go very high above the Earth, they could see many more hills and mountains and rivers. And if they went high enough, they would see that the Earth is round and that there is more water on the surface of the earth than land. They would see how big the earth is and how much there is to find out about the lands and waters on the earth. Jimmy wanted to begin. It said in the book, hills are one kind of land. There are many kinds of hills. From where he sat, Jimmy could see different kinds of hills. Some were not as high as the hill he was on. But some hills were very high. The hills had round tops and seemed to roll up and down, up and down. On the next page, the book said, hills are high, but mountains are higher. And that was right. The hills that Jimmy could see were high, but past the hills were mountains. Jimmy's father said these mountains were more than 10 times as high as the hill. Mountains are the highest kind of land. Sometimes they reach as high as the clouds. Because they are so high, it is cold near the tops of mountains. Often their tops are covered with snow even in summer. The shapes of some mountains are different from the shapes of most hills. Most mountains are rough and steep. They are often rocky and not as smooth as most hills. Jimmy could see that the real mountains were like the picture of mountains in the book. On the next page, the book said, between mountains and hills, we find valleys. Jimmy knew this. He had just come from a valley. His mother and sister were down there now. That was a valley between hills. And Jimmy could see valleys between mountains. He saw one very big valley. A river ran through it. And many farms were there. The next page of the book said, 
Very wide and flat lands are plains. Jimmy could see land that was wide and flat, land that didn't roll up and down, that wasn't high and rocky. This was a plain. There was a river running across it. The plain had many farms. It was a rich plain. So Jimmy had seen some of the kinds of lands in our world. Hills and mountains, valleys and plains. But our world is made of more than just land. There is water, too, such as the river down there. Where did the water in the river come from, Jimmy wondered? And where was it going? Waters that flow are called streams. The picture showed a stream in a mountain. Jimmy's father said that some streams begin high in the mountains, where there is always snow. The water comes from melting snow and from rain. A stream that begins high in the mountains runs down the mountainside. Where the slope is steep, the stream runs rapidly. Sometimes it runs slowly, too. Down, down the mountainside it flows. Along the way, the stream meets other streams. They join into one and are bigger. Larger streams are called by a different name, rivers. Streams meet and form larger streams, which are called rivers. So the streams form a river, and the river continues flowing along. Along the way, the river meets other rivers, and they make a new, bigger river. Each new river is bigger than the ones that made it. Sometimes a river flows into a big, deep place surrounded by land. Jimmy's book said, when land is all around water, the water is called a lake. In some lakes, people have fun swimming or riding in small boats. People enjoy lakes and take care of them. Some lakes overflow and the water runs on, making a river again. On and on the river flows. Now it flows through a valley. You often find rivers in valleys. Then Jimmy could see that the river flowed past the hill where he sat. But where was the river going? The book said, a river keeps running downward. Sometimes you can hardly tell that it is going downhill, but it always is. Along the way, people may be fishing. The river keeps growing bigger as it meets other streams and rivers and continues flowing along. Now the river is wide enough and deep enough for large ships to move upon it, carrying people and things from place to place. The river has come from little streams that joined into rivers and small rivers that became the big river. And where is all the water going? It is flowing into a bay, which is part of a much bigger kind of water. Jimmy's book said, the biggest kinds of water are oceans. Oceans cover more than half of our world. And so the river finally flows into an ocean. As Jimmy could see from the map in his book, Waters are all around the lands of our world. When Jimmy had finished his book, he had learned a great deal, and he wanted to find out many more interesting things about lands and waters of our Earth.